probably one of the more inspiring events that I've been to in probably several years. Um, a number of the people here were really remarkable people with great backgrounds, great histories, uh -huh. do great things on a regular basis, and you could go to any table, whether they were World War II people or not, and find some spectacular people. So it was an absolute thrill for me, it really yeah. was. Yeah. How about the organization? What is the organization? Uh, it's the Thousand Oaks Women's Republican Federation, uh, and they're everywhere, the Republican Federation. To me, personally, I think they are the people that put uh, President Trump in the presidency. In what way? The, well, in the fact that they have great influence, they're very honest, they represent everything that is good about America, and they spread the word. Uh, and they bring a lot of people into their fold, and nobody did a better job that I know of prior to the election about telling people exactly what Mr. Trump is about and what the Republican Party really needs, which is get back to real conservatism. You help organize a group of uh, veteran pilots, and uh, are they uh, airmen, or naval airmen? Uh, most of the guys, that's Wings Over Wendy's. We meet every Monday at uh, Platinum Victory at a, w at a Wendy's. Uh, and they're mostly World War II flyers. We have everybody now because the World War II guys are disappearing. So in order to keep the numbers up, we have guys from Vietnam, guys from Korea. Not too many new guys because the new guys are still too busy working, paying taxes and insurance. But a great group of guys, like some of the ones you saw in the film tonight. Elmo Maiden you saw, you saw Guy Kokorian, and you saw Al Lewis. Those are three gentlemen that are there every Monday. Well, what was it like seeing these guys who you know uh, personally uh, glamorized like this in a documentary? It was an absolute thrill, and bigger than that, it was something that I thought was very needed. I know how great they really are. I know of their exploits, but the rest of the world doesn't. Their families do at this point because they realize it's time to tell the story. But everybody else doesn't, and those people, they have to know. Young people particularly have to know. You see this guy, he's just the old guy that's driving real slow, or he's pushing that cart in the supermarket real slow, mm -hmm. and you have no idea that one day he was absolute hell on wheels. And they're young men. Mm -hmm. What we forget is that at 20 and 21 years old, these men flew B-24 and B-17 bombers with crews of 8, 9, and 10 men. They were responsible for those men to go out take care of the mission, and bring them home safely. And they took that very seriously. Elmo Maiden, who you heard speak, I spoke actually at an event for, uh, for Normandy, the Normandy invasion, and he spoke about his crew members. I've never heard anybody speak so glowingly and so lovingly mm -hmm. about other men. And they were, none of them were quite to his cut. He was the officer, a little older and well-educated. The rest of them were everyday en enlistees and draftees. Uh, and he named each one by name, where he came from, and he always said, wow, what a great guy these were. Mm -hmm. Because he was the commander, and he loved them, and they loved him because they called him Lucky Elmo. Because no matter how bad it was, mm -hmm. they knew he'd bring them back alive. And even, even when they crashed, mm -hmm. he made it the safest crash it could be. And he brought his plane down from like 15, 20,000 feet yeah. on three engines. Saw a hole in the clouds, came down, landed in France, and, and just a wonderful, wonderful guy. And they, the one thing they always have in common is they have that great faith. Faith in their f fellow combatants, mm -hmm. faith in the country, and faith in God. And that, uh, that seems to sustain them. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing this uh, a veteran's interest? Uh, well, Wings Over Wendy's have probably been there seven or eight years. I also work with Operation Gratitude. And what we do is we make, make up care packages for the men and women who are serving overseas. And this December we will put out our two millionth package, all out of one facility with all volunteers here in the San Fernando Valley. So I've been involved with Veterans Affairs and whatnot for 10 or 15 years. Uh -huh. Are you a veteran yourself? I am, yes I am. Uh, uh, what, what years? Uh, 66 to 70 in the United States Air Force. I did uh, two years uh, overseas in Laos. Uh, with 56 special operations, which absolute thrill of my life. I had a wonderful time, met a lot of good people, and I knew we were doing a good thing.